This video is a demonstration of the high frame rate capabilities that are present but rarely taken advantage of in most inexpensive Raspberry Pi cameras. The sequence being shown has a playback slowdown of 1 60th that of normal speed. It was filmed at an average frame rate of 660 frames per second on a $40 Raspberry Pi camera. This is well above the advertised maximum frame rate of 120 frames per second described in the official Raspberry Pi camera module documentation. Achieving these extremely high frame rates requires the use of third-party software that exposes the implementation details of the individual image sensors. These implementation details would normally be hidden from ordinary users, since misusing them can result in corrupted pictures or crashes. However, through careful experimentation, these cameras can be pushed to their limits to produce results far beyond their original intended use cases. This sequence was filmed on a $6 Raspberry Pi camera purchased from eBay. Filming these sequences presents a number of technical challenges unique to high frame rate photography and the Raspberry Pi environment. For example, filming in lighting conditions with less illumination than direct sunlight will produce exposures that are too dark. This sequence was filmed at nighttime in a room with an ordinary ceiling light and a secondary 60 watt lamp placed very close to the scene. Artificial lighting can be used, however this presents new challenges. This sequence uses light from a household lamp which creates a mild flickering effect on the video that is not visible in person. This flickering is caused by the interaction between the frame rate of the video capture and high frequency variations in the light source caused by the light itself or its power supply. Another challenging technical limitation is the high latency of writing to disk. For low frame rates, each frame of a video could be written to disk soon after it has been created without disrupting the overall image capture process. Attempting to do this for high frame rate video on the Raspberry Pi would result in substantial lag and dropped frames that couldn't be written to disk fast enough. Therefore, all of the sequences shown in this video required writing frames directly to RAM disk before they could be post-processed into a video. This presents yet another challenging technical limitation, memory usage. Capturing a 100 kilobyte picture 660 times per second for 20 seconds is enough to completely exhaust the memory capabilities of a Raspberry Pi. The default size of the RAM disk can be increased slightly, however this only provides a marginal gain in the maximum video length that can be recorded. The image sequence shown in this video all have high aspect ratios. This is not a coincidence, but a gain results from yet another technical limitation. Images read at these high frequencies can only transfer a small subset of the sensor area between each sensor read. Reading pixels from the sensor occurs one row at a time, so an equivalent readout area with square dimensions would require reading more rows and take more time. As demonstrated in this video, inexpensive Raspberry Pi cameras are capable of producing surprisingly good slow motion video given the right conditions. Currently, there is no out of the box software solution for recording high frame rate video on the Raspberry Pi. The image sequences shown in this video required a fairly large amount of manual scripting, experimenting, and careful steps to reproduce.